The corporate Microsoft that we know wants to give meaning to its slogan in putting people first with everything that was announced today. Reporting live from New York City, this is Adam Lane and Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now, and here is what we saw. Microsoft's event today had two primary focus points that had everything to do with enabling creators, starting with the new Windows 10 Creators update that we'll see in spring and, in addition, new hardware. The new Windows starts with a new focus on 3D. The company plans to bring the technology for everyone with new tools that allow you to scan an image from your phone, and the legacy Microsoft Paint application now evolves to Paint 3D, allowing you to very easily blend the images you scan, in addition to the ones that you can quickly create or even download from the community. 3D is also expanding to services like PowerPoint, and if you're thinking that this all has to do a lot with Microsoft HoloLens, yeah, you're getting the point. There are other major evolutions in the realm of performance for 4K gaming, in-game broadcasting, and the collaboration that others can have in your games, etc. The company also made a big deal about having Windows help you connect with friends through shoulder nudges, or what have you. But we've seen competitors strike out at this mainly because of how distracting it is. Hopefully it helps. But anyways, the second pillar has everything to do with being able to help you create this 3D content, and Microsoft has made a big leap here. Sadly, devices like the Surface Pro 4 didn't get an update here, but the Surface Book got a major one in its performance base. The new Surface Book i7 has twice the graphics capabilities of the old model, which also means three times more than the 13-inch Retina MacBook Pro. There's an extra fan for cooling, which also meant that the base got thicker to accommodate the new thermal envelope. But the most whopping improvement is that Microsoft claims 16 hours of battery life. And yeah, I would really love to test that to believe. Now, even if our scope is not the desktop, the new Surface Studio is really the highlight of this event. We're not gonna bore you with specifications of a $3,000 plus dollar desktop computer, as this is really a product designed for creators, mainly just a niche. But seriously, when you watch the video and when you see this product for the first time, the simple way you can just easily lay this gigantic 28-inch screen flat for drawings is genius, just genius. But hey, more genius has everything to do with this new Surface dial. It's compatible with any service that's older than the Surface Pro 3. It'll cost you just $99, and it's designed to complement creation with the pen as a dial, the way to scroll through menus, and yes, even a ruler, but the sky's the limit, really. It all depends on what developers build for this product. Microsoft has clearly outdone itself in today's event, and the highlight is that the corporate giant is now wanting to help you become a creator. Whether that's true or not will be defined soon as we test this product in our future reviews. But while we wait, make sure you follow us on social media and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also catch our videos on Vessel, vessel.com slash pocket now, and then follow us on our typical social media channels. For Pocket Now, this is Jaime Rivera and Adam Lane. Thank you very much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw, and we will see you on the next one.